Eivor, you found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. But look at my father. A battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in this state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the Corpse Hall, you will take his place as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor. I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England, and you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! 